My name is Mark Geller and I work with Plug in America and Adopt a Charger, two nonprofit organizations devoted to accelerating plug in vehicle ownership. Well, I gotta say at first, I think the main problem isn't EV owners not being nice to other EV owners, it's non EV owners not being nice to EV owners. There are an increasing number of charging stations, but let's be clear, it's probably not 1% of the parking spaces available to the public, and quite often, uh, non plug-in electric vehicles, in other words, a car that can't utilize a charging station, is blocking access. And the most critical use of a EV charger charging station in public is uh, for someone who needs the charge, and for someone who can't even use the charge to be parked there. Um, that's the worst offense. Hi, my name is Forrest North. I'm the CEO of Ricargo. Our most popular app is PlugShare, and uh, really the goals of the company are to break down all the barriers for getting people to charge effectively with their electric cars, and hopefully grow the electric car movement. So the, the biggest offense is really being parked in a station and not charging. And whether you're a gasoline car or an electric car, it really, in either way, it's it's both it's it's offensive. Um, I've actually been to this exact station and had a brand new uh, Leaf and a, and on another day a brand new Volt parked in this spot, not plugged in. And I think it was probably a new owner thought, oh, it's an EV spot, so I can park here, but I don't need to charge, or I don't know how to charge, so I won't plug in. Um, but that means that would be like parking in front of a gas station that's completely full, and it's the last spot of the gas station, and you pl and you park in there to go inside and get some, you know jerky or uh, you know eat a sandwich or something the secondary question I guess is is uh, you know are EV drivers plugging in when maybe they don't need to and when somebody else comes along who has to and in that case we need to develop you know sort of systems to to make it possible to be as kind to each other as possible make it so that people can use the charging stations that they need to use and so if you have to unplug someone so let's say you're driving a, a battery electric car and you're very low in range and you don't have enough to get home so that's the ultimate situation where you you need to unplug someone to charge um, if the cars are uh, clearly full then it's pretty okay to, to unplug them. Now there's some caveats, which is that some cars now lock the nozzle onto the car, so regardless, you can't unplug them. Um, I'm not sure if you can set whether it can unplug once it's full or not, uh, but I believe it just locks it on there. Um, so new Leafs and uh, Teslas can do that kind of locking uh, of the nozzle on. Um, some battery electric vehicle owners feel like they can unplug a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid owner, because that person has a gas backup and they don't, but that really annoys uh, plug-in hybrid drivers. I think a good driver would, uh, when they arrive at a, a charging station that they intend to charge at, would uh, in some way signify uh, if they need to be charging or they don't need to be charging. Uh, so that a person who could pull into an adjacent spot that the cord would reach to could unplug you if, for example, uh, you let them know that uh, via, you know, we have we have cards that our organization Plug in America makes that on one side says charge needed, on the other side says it's okay to unplug, uh, so that somebody else can use the 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 charging station, uh, and. Some people are willing to give their phone number out so uh, you know they could get a call and if you're at the mall and someone else needs to do it, you can do it. But this is really mostly in the realm of common courtesy and we need to figure out how to do that.